monopolized by the Manitoba telephone system, can tell a Canadian communications firm will be going ahead, going head to head, that is, with MTS, vying for what they consider to be the highly lucrative market. Colin Friesen has the details. MTS has had a lock on the local phone business since 1908. But times are changing, and the introduction of a new type of phone into the Winnipeg market will also see a new company. Can tell the people who have brought portable cellular phones to the rest of Canada will begin operations on May the 6th, even though the company claims that MTS didn't want them here. They couldn't see any reason why there should be a competitor introduced in the Manitoba marketplace, and uh, really, I think I'm quoting it correctly, I won't make them an exact quotation, something to the effect that uh, you know, a Manitoba Telephone will provide the system whenever Manitoba Telephone wants to provide it sort of thing. Nevertheless, Cantel and the Manitoba Telephone System will both compete for the cellular market. The phones, which start at around $1,600, allow the user to reach any other phone in the world. But while the price of the phones are expected to come down as more and more people sign up, Cantel says phone rates, which cost about 50 cents a minute, won't drop as quickly. The capital investment is huge. And therefore, the opportunity for a decline in the price per minute of the usage over the air uh, is not that great. Cantel says they need about 3,000 subscribers over the next four years to break even. Their plans call for 25 new jobs in Manitoba. Cantel says they have a number of studies that indicate driving and talking isn't as dangerous as some people might think. What the company has yet to determine is the relative safety of competing against a crown corporation.